So today we're going to be making a healthy version of a sweet potato casserole. My sous chef Emily is here in the kitchen with me today and she's always in the kitchen whenever we make our Thanksgiving side dishes. So my family's almost here and they're going to be hungry. She's going to help me finish up. I'm going to just be um, adding a full butternut squash to the blender here. And you can buy the pre-diced, the pre-cut one, because that's much easier than peeling and slicing and getting a whole butternut squash prepared. What I think I love most about sweet potato casserole at Thanksgiving is that it's a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. And also you have all the flavors of fall. You have sweet potato, you have pecans, you have maple syrup. So it's everything we love about Thanksgiving in one dish. Plus the colors of fall too. So um, I'll have you, I have two uh, sweet potatoes here. Okay. They're, it's already softened, so just go ahead and scoop it out and then we can add it to the blender when you're done. Perfect. To the blender with the butternut squash, I'm gonna do four egg whites. And the butternut squash actually is a really good way to cut out some of the calories and also the sugar from this recipe. So one cup, Emily, did you know, of butternut squash versus a cup of sweet potato saves you 100 calories. Wow, I did not know yeah, that. So it's a big difference. So that's why for this dish, I do a little bit of butternut squash and a little bit of sweet potato because that way you have kind of the, the flavors of the sweet potato, the richness, and then butternut squash is really close pairing so you really can't tell the difference. Wow. And I love that you did pre-cut. That makes life yes. simpler. So butternut squash is not as easy as a no. sweet potato to just microwave and, and scoop out. So you do want to look for the pre-cubed. You can even buy the frozen kind. And then if you get the frozen, then you just pop it in your microwave to steam it. All right, so that looks great. I'm gonna add that to the blender. And then Emily, can you make the topping for this? Mm -hmm. Just with some pecans, some maple syrup, a little bit of salt and some cinnamon Perfect. into a dish. Yeah, I can put it right in here, this jar. Okay, sure. All right, so I'm gonna add one half cup of milk. And Emily, what's your favorite side dish for Thanksgiving? Mm, well, this is definitely one of them. I also love mom stuffing. For me, that's like comfort food. Mm -hmm. And it's like the only time she makes it once a year. So it just, it reminds me of mom, of home, and of the holidays. Me too. You know, I think that anything that reminds you of home is what brings you back ultimately to that feeling of the holidays. And so that's what I love about Thanksgiving, is it really does, it makes you feel like it's home. Mm -hmm. So I added some maple syrup, some cinnamon, a little bit of salt, and some almond milk to the blender. And then I'm just gonna blend this up while you kind of mix everything. You might need a different bowl yeah, for that. With my big spatula. <laughs> All right, so that looks great. It's smooth and creamy, and that's how I like to have my sweet potato casserole. Do you like texture or chunks in yours? I like, the texture I think from the topping works really well for me, so as long as the topping has some crunch, yeah, I like I the butternut squash to be smooth. I agree, so if you wanted your sweet potato casserole to have some texture to it, you don't necessarily have to blend it until it's totally creamy. Personally, I like to do so because it kind of reminds me of pumpkin pie mm -hmm. filling. So I like it when it's nice and creamy. So you just kind of pulse it or blend it to your desired texture. So I'm gonna scoop this all into a nine by 13 pan. And then Emily, that topping looks great. Instead of doing any kind of brown sugar, um, topping with tons of butter, you can still have a nice, crunchy, crispy, nutty topping, and that's what we have here, but it's just pecans and mm -hmm. maple syrup, basically, yeah. and a few seasonings. And so this will be the perfect way to top it. I'll just get in there and use my hands. You wanna help me? Sure. There's nothing like pecans. It's and like pecan um, what's your favorite tradition for Thanksgiving? Uh, well, definitely cooking with you because it's like a whole week event. <laughs> we kind of stole it from mom, but I think she's happy about that to not have all of the cooking on, you know, her plate. Um, and then, well, she's always just really made the turkey, and that's like her her thing. And yeah. we won't touch that. Yeah. Like I don't I don't want to make the turkey, so I'm no. thankful she does that. And that's a job in itself. Yeah. So this has always been really fun to get to make new dishes and create them and do them together. It's fun. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes until it's set. 